I'm here with Jake from Albuquerque. How's it going? He's doing some profound work for youth empowerment. Yeah, so basically, the um, I guess everything behind this youth program called Cycles of Life is about helping perpetuate the spiritual ecological philosophy. And this philosophy stems from a spiritual, ecological, epistemology, or worldview. And I think that's basically what we're doing, is we're creating a shift in the paradigm, or how we view our relationship to the earth, and ultimately to the universe. You're saying that our material culture is not not satisfying for young people, it's not providing the, the yeah, sustenance that we yeah, need. Yeah, it's definitely not providing the sustenance that we need, and we don't have to look so far away to figure out what are the solutions to these issues. They're right here, they're in the earth, and they're with indigenous people. So I just kind of want to spread that, and also they're with other cultures that really value this worldview that everything is interconnected, everything is impermanent, and everything is made up of other things. So what are you doing in Albuquerque, and why did you come up here at Taos for the Regeneration Festival? Well, what we're doing in Albuquerque is we're um, getting together in collectives. We have our own collective called the Karuna Collectiva, which is Sanskrit for compassion. And what we're doing is we're um, creating our own gardens, we're helping our friends create gardens, we're coming together to really use our skills and passions together in a really progressive collective, cohesive way to change the earth, knowing that we're the ones who are going to make this transition. Not someone else, not the politicians, not other groups, but ourselves. So we're here at the, the Regeneration Festival, it's a celebration of young people in Taos, so what made you come up here to share share yourself and your, your skills? Well basically, you know, for us to create this transition, we all really need to heal. And this festival is all about healing, about regeneration. And we sometimes always forget about this important aspect of regeneration, celebration, celebrating our young people, celebrating our life here on this earth. So that's why we came up here from Albuquerque to just show kind of solidarity with uh, the people of Taos and also just per perpetuate these transformative festivals. So I work with Occupy, Occupy Movement and Unoccupy, and I think part of what we're about is of course economic justice for the 99%, but also protesting against all these wars that we mm. have mm. that drain so much of our resources, mm. the drug war, mm. the, the wars abroad, mm. and also the class war that the corporations are waging. Mm. So how, how does the work that you're doing intersect? I know I think you've been doing this even before the Occupy Movement started, and so have I. Right. But how does that intersect with the Occupy Movement? Well, it intersects in the way that this is all stemming from love and compassion. And the basic message is control the rage, control all the hatred and anger and separation, because this is what causes those wars, this kind of internal view that we somehow are better than someone else. And that's just not the case. So we're definitely all about peace and love through culture, through art, science, and spirituality. That's how it's going to happen, and that's how it's going to be in the future. I want to get a shot of some of this amazing art that you have. What are these symbols that you've painted on, on canvas? Well, this is based off of the work of Nicholas Roerich and the Pax Cultura, the connection between art, science, and spirituality. And this is a rainbow bridge around the earth to kind of symbolize the physical and metaphorical rainbow bridge of peace and love that we can create. This also is within the flower of life, representing the interconnectedness of our earth and just reminding people that, hey, we're all part of this planet. We don't need to kill each other. We don't need to oppress other people to be able to live and thrive. How about this one? That's your collective, right? <clears throat> this is our collective, and again, this is has the symbol of the conch shells blowing that kind of truth, blowing that dharma, blowing that consciousness. And this is again our representation of the collective. And we hope other people can make their own banners of, or create their own collectives to connect with each other, to really create these geometric grids around the earth, yeah. peace and culture. So how can people get involved or learn more about your work or connected with what you're doing? Well, they could go on our Facebook. We have a Facebook called Cycles of Life. Um, TripsForKidsRioGrande.org is the nonprofit that we also work with. Um, you could contact me at um, hforman at unm.edu or you could just get proactive, plant seeds, connect with other people, really focus and focus your mind in every day. That's the art of everyday living. Right on, beautiful. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? 
Uh, thank you. Just just keep at it, and really, we're doing things in a non-threatening way. We're we're about peace. We're about love, and I think that's the message that we could all connect with. Thank you. Thank you.